Did you know that you will walk an average of eight to 10 miles every single day on your Disney World trip? That is over 20,000 steps every single day. Because of that, proper foot care is an absolute must on your Disney vacation. But what shoes are the best options? To find out, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Kayla and Mark Allen. We like to travel a lot, especially to Disney World. Follow along on our journey as we give you tips and tricks to help you create your own ever after. In today's Quick Tip Tuesday, we are going to share some of our absolute favorite shoes that we take to Disney. We're also going to talk about how to help with soreness when it comes to those achy, tired feet, and also some tips on what to avoid when choosing your shoes when it comes to going to Disney. So let's jump right on in. So the first thing we're gonna chat about is tennis shoes. Obviously tennis shoes are going to be the pretty, the easiest go-to as they're gonna be the most comfortable for most people. Now a couple things that you do wanna consider when choosing your tennis shoes is making sure that they are comfortable as far as having a really good thick cushioned sole um, with maybe some good arch support and making sure that they're breathable. And like Kayla said, breathability is a huge thing that we can't recommend enough when it comes to tennis shoes, especially at Disney. Disney's hot, it's humid, your feet are gonna sweat and get real stinky. And you don't want necessarily like some sort of like leathery type shoe that your feet just can't breathe in. It just sounds like blister city inside of those and that's not gonna be fun for anybody. Dry feet are happy feet. Some of our favorite tennis shoes that we like to bring always have a really good cushion sole. They do have some arch support. Just since we know we're gonna be wearing them for long periods of time, we know that thin soles are not always the best. They <laughs> can make your feet very tired. They have to do more work. Um, and it, you don't really want to get sore feet on day one. So we always try to make sure that we have a pretty good, comfortable sole. Obviously everyone's feet are gonna be a little bit different. So you will, you know what your feet need. Just make sure that you get shoes that properly accommodate your needs. Your second option for shoes is sandals. And our absolute favorite sandals that we always take are Tevas. These are our Tevas. new. Yes, Tevas. Tevas, however you wanna call We call them, them Tevas. But these are our number one go-to shoes right now. Reason being, the soles, like I mentioned earlier, are pretty cushioned. They have a couple different versions, but the, they're decently cushioned enough for us. Um, they are also very lightweight, and so they don't feel super clunky, but the straps are also a big help in keeping them on our feet and keeping our feet aired out and dry and the the texture on the like the soles of the shoes kind of help prevent blisters too so personally tevas are our favorite now some important things to consider when choosing a sandal make sure that they have a thicker sole and not something super thin like old navy shoes or flip-flops something like that Sure, they might look cute, but when it comes to walking eight to 10 miles a day, that just sounds super painful. Or especially if it rains, you're gonna be sliding all over the place in those things. Mm -hmm. So make sure that your shoes not only have a good sole, but they also have good straps so that they're gonna stay on your feet. Um, Cause nothing is worse than when your feet are wet and you're slipping around and you can't keep your shoes on. <laughs> Cause it does rain a lot in the summer. So definitely keep that in mind. On the flip side of that too, make sure that the straps are comfortable for you. You don't want something that is going to rub in a place that is gonna give you blisters. I know I've had shoes before, like um, Chacos that have a strap on the toe. And as I walk, they actually tighten and it cuts off my circulation. And so I can, I can wear those for a little while, but not for an entire day at Disney. So just make sure that your straps are secure, but that they're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> 
Before we talk about some of the don'ts when it comes to choosing your shoes for Disney, if you're getting value out of this video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up because that lets us know that you enjoy this video. And also be sure to consider subscribing if you want to hear more tips from us when it comes to going to Disney. And don't forget to check out our playlist that'll be linked at the end of this video with other Disney shoes that we love to wear to the parks. So now for some things that you should probably avoid when choosing your shoes. Believe me, I want to wear cute shoes to Disney as much as the next person because of cute Instagram photos. But here's the thing, those people that wear those cute shoes are either there only for a couple hours or they are very, very sad because their feet hurt very bad by the end of the day. As much as you want to choose the cute shoes, pick the comfy shoes. You will be so happy and thankful that you did. Now, granted, if you do wanna throw a pair of cute shoes in your bag for maybe an evening out to a nice dinner or something, by all means, go for it. You're only gonna be wearing it for a couple hours at that point, so you'll be okay. But the worst thing that can happen is you get really sore blistered feet on day one, and then you're having to fight that for the rest of your trip. And don't bring just one pair of tennis shoes. Our big thing here is that we bring a pair of tennis shoes honestly, sometimes two pairs of tennis shoes and a pair of sandals. You just want to have options because especially if a pair gets wet, you want to be able to wear a dry pair of shoes. Or if your tennis shoes are hurting, you want to be able to change into sandals or vice versa. You just, options are very, very key here. It's great to have shoes that rub on different parts of your feet so that way you can avoid blisters if you start to feel a spot getting a little bit hot um, or hurting. You can switch out your shoes to get that, let that spot get the rest. Now some things to help if you do get some sore or blistered feet. My number one trick is to get waterproof band-aids. These are great for blisters. And if you get good waterproof band-aids, they should stay on pretty much all day. I'm gonna link some of my favorites in the description box below. These were actually super helpful for me <laughs> on our last trip. Um, so definitely make sure that you have band-aids in your park bag or at least just in your suitcase in your room so that if you do get some blisters, you can take care of that. Our other thing that we always be sure to pack with us is some sort of massage ball. And ours actually vibrates, we've talked about it before, but it has like little spikes that you just roll like over your foot and we just put it on the floor. And that will just, at the end of a long day, it feels really great. It relieves a lot of the tension in it. And bonus, you don't have to just use it on your feet. You can use it on your legs or on your back, whatever sore spots you have from walking around all day. Yeah. These are super, super handy to have. The last thing that can kind of help with some soreness is to maybe consider taking some ibuprofen or other type of pain reliever first thing in the morning. Obviously, I am not a doctor, so I am not telling you to take medicine. You need to talk to your own doctor. <laughs> you guys know you, but um, if you are able to take a little bit of a pain reliever in the morning, it does kind of help dull some of that soreness first thing and while your muscles are trying to kind of get warmed back up. Um, I know that is something that always helps me get going in the morning. That way later in the day, I'm not like triple sore. So there's that. And finally, our biggest tip when it comes to choosing your shoes for Disney is to make sure that your shoes are broken in. It sounds like common sense, but you'd be surprised how many people like we see in the parks that their shoes look brand new. I've done that. Yeah, and like we ended up paying for it. And we want you to learn from our mistakes. And and you'll hear that time and time again, but trust us on this one. If you do get a new pair of shoes specifically for a Disney trip, make sure you're walking in those specific shoes well in advance of your trip. One, you'll kind of like train your body like, hey, I'm walking if you're not an active person like us. And two, you'll break in those shoes. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone there. Even if you can just walk a couple extra miles every day, it will really, really make the world of difference on your next trip. But honestly, it's a great habit to get into just for a healthier lifestyle. So take the time every day, at least to several weeks to a month before your trip, walk just a little bit more every day. You'll thank us later. 
And now we're throwing it to you guys. We want to know what are some of your favorite shoes when it comes to going to Disney. Maybe we haven't heard of them or maybe we haven't tried them for ourselves. Leave those in the comments below. And if you are looking for ways to support our channel so that we can continue to make really awesome video for you guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share with a friend if you think that they may find this helpful. You can also consider joining our Patreon page. We have recently launched it and we are giving you guys all kinds of fun behind the scenes. We are giving you access to our monthly newsletter where we give you kind of more behind the scenes and updates on us, um, as well as kind of some bonus content early access to our trip announcements. And we will even from time to time have some uncut videos on there for you guys. So if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description box below. But other than that, that's all we have for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your, your ever after. Proper foot care is an absolute must when you go on your Disney vacation. But and what kind of shoes are you supposed to wear? Sorry. That was so good and you ruined it. Ah! I did so good. Now we gotta do it again. Before we go on to some of the do nots, nope. <laughs> the do nots. Before, <laughs> before we go to the do nots. Do not do this. Do not do this. Do not do's. The do not do's. Before we talk about some of the don'ts, gosh. <laughs> I almost did it again. <laughs> Before we talk about some of the don'ts when it comes, gosh darn it. When it comes to choosing your shoes. Before we talk about some of the don'ts when it comes to choosing your shoes for Disney, be sure to give this val, this. Oh my God. Before we talk about some things to avoid when it comes to choosing your shoes to, oh gosh. Before we, before we, before. <laughs> Before I freaking mess up again. Do you God. need me to say it? No, I, let me, I, I, I wanna freaking get this now. <sighs> Before we talk about some of the do not, gosh. <laughs> why can I not You're freaking, fired. <laughs> You're fired. No, I freaking wanna get this now. She don't, she don't. She don't. She don't. She do not do. She do not. She do not do. She do not do. Okay. For example, if you are a tennis shoe person, 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 <laughs> Percy, <laughs> Percy, some sort of like massage vault, vault, volleyball, a volleyball. Don't, Don't bring, bring a, a volleyball. volleyball. <laughs> I mean, you do you. <laughs> and our biggest tip here when it comes to choosing your shoes is making sure that your shoes are broken. It honestly broken sound, in. Not broken. Bro. Oh. 